So this is the equivalent fraction spreadsheet. Uh, first thing you're going to have to do is make sure you create a copy. You won't be able to write on this one. So you'll need to go to File and go to Make a Copy. It's as simple as that. Make sure you've signed into your Google account and then you'll be able to uh, create your own copy and save it somewhere useful. Uh, so all of my spreadsheets have an example at the top, sometimes a YouTube clip so that you can actually uh, get the pupils to follow an example. Uh, but this is how it works. It's a matter of clicking on a yellow cell and entering the answer. So uh, we've got a hint here of timesing by two just in case the pupils aren't sure what to do. And when you type in the answer, uh, it will go green. Wait a moment, there it is, and it gives you a score. Let's try another one, and as you can see, these go green, mark themselves, and uh, removing a bit of scaffolding as we go. A few more times in by twos, uh, some times in by fours, and so on. There's a whole variety of different ones to get pupils fluent at this. Then down at the end, no help at all, a mixture of questions. Hopefully, they can spot that we're times it by seven. Uh, that gives you a score, and then right at the very top, you've got a score sheet that is um, always remembering what's going on. Freezing that to one row means that that score sheet is always visible as we move through the questions. Something a bit harder, a bit more linked uh, to challenge the pupils. Uh, have a go, try it, download it.